Hey guys, it is time for another smoke detector unboxing video. It's been a little bit of time since I've done a detector unboxing, but I do have, if I can find my knife, I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. This is going to be like my first unboxing. I have another unit that I'm expecting within like, I don't know, the next month or so. That, there's some circumstances to that one. We'll, we'll see when I get it. But okay. All right. It's upside down, I think. Yep. Double wrap and then this nothing else in there. So do I need the knife again? There we go. That is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so small. I cannot, I can't get over that. Okay. So this here is the KF Industries Save-A-Life smoke detector. What's the model number? Model 525. Um, let me take you guys off the tripod here. Now, um, there is... Another uh, collector that has one of these, um, but they are not a, they don't have a YouTube channel. Well, they have a YouTube channel, but they don't have anything uploaded on it. Um, but theirs, unfortunately, does not work. So I guess when we power this up, we're going to see if it works. Um, but yeah, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, maybe like half the size of this box. Like, I don't know. Um... Actually, I thought it was going to be like closer to the size of like that, the Smoke Sentinel, because you can see that one's a pretty big unit, but wow, that is, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see how it works in there. I see a horn, I see the transformer in there, but I, I want to open it up and see the, what it looks like inside. But first I'll show you the label on the back here. This is KF Industries Incorporated, Philadelphia, save a life, protects against fire, smoke, gas, poisonous fumes. So this is like a smoke and gas detector, I guess. Um, there's no heat sensor from what I can tell, so it's not a heat detector. And then there's this, conforms with NFPA standard number 74 and standard number 501B for mobile homes. Now, of course, as you can see, it's a line cord powered unit and this does to look to be the original cord and it has that original um the clip that is you what this came with um line cord unit back in the day when line cord powered units were like a common thing in homes they would um include this sort of like clip thing that you were supposed to put like screw this to the um onto where the cover plate of the outlet goes and it would keep the plug in it keep people from unplugging it, so it was kind of like an extra safety measure to keep the detector powered. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this thing open. It looks like it opens a similar way to the Smoke Sentinel, actually, with these two screws on the side and probably that one up there. So, I'm going to get those screws out of there. Well, they literally were hand tight, so it, it didn't take much to get them off. But, let's go ahead and remove this little cover. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, there is a heat sensor. Right there. Huh. So, it looks like this one's got a delta alarm horn. Delta alarm right there. Transformer in the middle. And that is the gas sensor right there. It's like an electrochemical sensor. Um, electrochemical sensor. 
There is a heat sensor right there, as I mentioned, which I did not see from in from the outside. And there's a light bulb, which I'm guessing is like the indicator lamp. Now, I don't see a smoke sensor on this thing, so maybe they were kind of like, I guess, combining the gas sensor as like smoke and gas. I don't know. It's it's weird. So, but it does say protects against fire smoke. I guess for fire, they were probably talking about the heat sensor, but it does say smoke. So I don't know. I'm going to see if I can test this thing. It does not have a test button, clearly. Um, that looks like the sensitivity adjustment right there. I guess if all else fails, I could just turn the sensitivity adjustment up to test it. But here's the inside of the cover. It's a little perforated metal piece. Um, it's just like stamped KF badge right there. And this lamp is probably replaceable. It's like a bayonet base bulb, like the same kind that uh, was used in model trains back in the day. And still is, I think. Is that filament good? Uh, yeah, that filament's still good. The bulb should, should still work. Now, I got this one, actually. I didn't get this one off of eBay. I got this one off of the Goodwill auction site, which is... A, I've never ordered from there before. Um, apparently, they often have, like, cool vintage things for sale. I did find some cool things that they had, but, like, this was the only smoke detector fire alarm related device that I found that was worth getting and nobody else wanted it so I went ahead and got it so yeah um once again still completely shocked by how small this thing is I guess it makes sense though because it doesn't really have like a smoke sensor per se um another thing I completely forgot to mention this brand name may seem familiar if you remember um if you've watched Enlin's videos before um because he has a couple of units that are made by KF Industries that are much larger and round. They're kind of like, they almost look like a vigilante or an early guard unit um, from the shape, but they're a fair bit larger and they do have smoke sensors in them. So evidently those were like, this is like a more residential, I guess, type model. And those were kind of like more, I don't know, I guess they could have been used for commercial because the ones that he found were at like the YMCA, I think. So they were installed commercially. Um, yeah. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and power this thing up for you guys now. Um, let me put the camera back up here on the tripod, or the camera back up here on the stool so you can see. Um, let me put these screws back in. Such a weird design. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap the cord. Okay, so now let's go ahead and plug it in. It might chirp. So, three, two, one. No chirp, and we got a, we got a light. Indicator light lit up. So, I'm going to, I guess, attempt to test this with matches. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work. If it doesn't, I guess we can try to, like, test the heat sensor with a lighter or something. Um, so, actually, first. Okay, turned off the ceiling fan so it doesn't blow the smoke away. Um, all right. Oh, come on, what? What was that? Match lit for like half a second and just went out. Okay, there we go. Don't go out. Don't go out. Oh my God. Went out again. Okay. Go up. Stay lit this time. There we go. There we go. 
okay. God, no, 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 no. Hmm. Nothing. Hoping it's not going to have like a delay and just like go off while it's sitting on the floor. Let's try like three matches. Hmm. Well, I don't think the smoke is going to work, so just give me one second. Okay, so since the smoke sensor doesn't work, I'm going to do something that's probably not a good idea, but we're going to try to test the heat sensor with a lighter here, like how I did with the smoke sentinel. Hopefully it's lighter. It won't go out. It's a little low on... on has a 120 hertz buzz. That is awesome. Oh, I really like the sound of it. I wish it had a test button or it detected smoke. Um, wow, this thing scared me. It's really loud. As Jan always says, that'll wake you up. So yeah. Um, I guess that's the test. Um, maybe I'll try to get the gas sensor to work. I don't know what I'm supposed to test that with, but Let's see if it's still sounding. Nope. It cooled down. So that heat sensor is 135 degree fixed temperature heat sensor and self resetting, evidently. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's about it for this video. So that is the KF Industries Save a Life uh, Smoke, Gas, and Fire Detector Model 525. Um, I don't see a date code on here. This is probably from like the, uh, I don't know, late 60s, early 70s, perhaps. I'm not exactly entirely sure. So yeah, um, it's a little KF Industries. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and more to come.